Hello everyone. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, journal in uh, Emacs org mode. Now, if you have been using Emacs, then uh, and org mode, of course, then one of your uh, primary objective is, I believe, to do task management, like the main goal. But of course, uh, org mode can be used, and people use it for uh, publishing they write books they create uh, presentations they publish a blog or a website so you can do a lot of things with emacs and uh, one such really good thing that you should consider doing is uh, writing a journal now if you're if you are writing a journal in org mode then uh, it will help you it has helped me a lot and of course it has none it, it is something that i have started using uh, within org mode i mean i have always maintained or tried to maintain some kind of a journal where i keep track or i basically write about what i did basically on a on a on a daily basis i try to summarize something which i uh don't really do each and every day but i do it quite regularly i think when you just write about uh, your day and what you did what went great what could have been better i think it will uh, give you some clarity and i think uh, you can do it anywhere you can do it on a, on a piece of paper or a notepad you can do it uh, in a spreadsheet or you can do it uh, in a text file but but if you, of course if you're doing it within org mode then great thing about org mode is that uh, you can uh, move things around so there is something called as refiling and you can of course move let us say if you're writing a journal right and when you write a journal you can uh, of course you know write in uh, any f any way i mean basically just a free text of course and the way i write my journal is of course and i have been doing it within emacs or mode for i think it has been three years now it is my third year i think fourth year now so basically i have this uh, org capture template so whenever I want to write a journal, of course I do it every, like, if I do it, it will create a new entry with that day's timestamp or just a date. And it is actually in a tree format. So it will start with uh, 2023 and then of course you know, it will have like different levels. And you can actually create uh, for that particular day's entry. You can create, of course, uh, you know, your journal entry and, and when, when you're doing it you can of course create a task as well if you have to if you <clears throat> if you think you need to so normally what i do i try to categorize my journal journal entries into three categories one is uh, general like in general what is my mood uh, what is my feeling and uh, everything is go going good not good whatever and uh, when I write it down, of course, I try to clear my mind. But I also have two more categories. One is uh, family and the third one is work. So I use these three categories or these three subtrees under that day. And when I write something, I, of course, you know, if I think, I remember some... Because when I'm writing something, I usually uh, remember, okay, I, it can be a task. So I, I, I create a task and then I move it uh, to the right file or i can use uh, nothing but uh, or capture and create an entry out of it basically a to-do entry that goes to goes to one of my file called inbox.org which uh, is basically to capture any task like for example if i remember that uh, i have to do something i can create a new task this is a new task and it will go to that particular file that is it it's that simple and uh, of course, you will review this file, inbox.org, on a regular basis. I, th I think this is based on some, I think I, wrote, I read a blog post somewhere. I think it was Getting Things Done, which is quite popular, I believe, or something similar to that. But I, I got this idea of creating this file called inbox.org from that particular uh, blog post. Now, the thing is, the journal entry, uh, and I do like quite a lot of things in org mode. I have a file 
where I keep track of my short term, medium term and long term goals. And usually when I'm writing my journal entry, I basically try to write down what is bothering me, like what I need to do, what I remember. And when I do it on a regular basis, in a way, so usually things that I need, that I need to do, of course, I have those items somewhere in some file uh, in my org agenda. I mean, I can, if, if of course, I try to follow my org agenda, but uh, the things that are really important and I need to do, I remember those things. And, I, and, and when I write my journal entries, I make sure that I, you know, write about what I need to do, what I think I need to do, or what is bothering me, and things that uh, I need to, you know, fix, whatever. I mean, usually, we need to write it out somewhere. And uh, I used to do these uh, entries by hand, by hand on a notepad every day. Now I do it, uh, of course, in my journal entry, and I review my goals. I just know whenever I'm writing a journal, I also open my goals file in a separate buffer. And I just, you know, refer to my goals, I write it, I, 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 I review my goals, and I write down, okay, today I did something that contributed towards that goal. And uh, I'm feeling good, I'm not feeling good. For example, today, today's Monday, and uh, my day was okay-ish. I'm not super happy with my day, which is fine. I mean, not each and every day can be, you know, super happy or super excited or, you know, productive. But at the same time, when you're doing it on a regular basis, you're reminding yourself that, yes, today you could have done something better or uh, you could have done something differently or maybe you need to basically take care of few few things. So basically, when I write it down on a regular basis, I am reminding myself as well. And I think you should also consider writing a journal entry within org board because uh, if you do it, you can uh, report on it or you can, for, for my usage, you, for my use case, I don't really report on my journal entries, although I used to keep track of my feelings for some weird reason. I know it is weird, but I used to basically maintain a spreadsheet where I used to uh, keep track of my you know, feelings. And that was really weird. And it was basically a personal experiment. And I think I should, I need to maybe do that again in org mode. Basically, how am I feeling? What I, I mean, I used to basically rank my feelings, my work, my productivity level on some scale. And I think if you're doing some kind of a journal entry, even if you don't report on it, even if you write it down, I think that is also good enough. And maintaining a journal entry, what I normally do, I basically have a separate file called journal.org and I don't really expect this file to be too big because it is just a text file and uh, I mean if you make a simple video it's in GBs right so if this file if you are worried about the the number of lines you don't need to it is just a text file and if you are using uh, something like org mode it will uh, it will uh, basically have uh, an entry for uh, every day and maybe a few lines for that particular day and maybe just one line and that is all you need, right? And yeah, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video, I hope. I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.